can it stick to the road like that? It's M3. <laughs> <laughs> Often don't drive the car on the limit because of my worries about if something happens. But to investigate the limit of the car, you have oh, both ones. <laughs> you have to take it to the track yeah. to know where the limit is because the limit is not the car, the limit is often your mind. Uh, I was 16 and I was watching them and competing on, on television and I thought to myself one day, probably, one day I will try to have one. In the late 90s, my best friend bought this car and rang me up and said, uh, you know what I got? <laughs> and I didn't believe him because uh, you couldn't get one. So uh, he turned up and the car was there. And um, I said to him the same day that you can't sell this car without telling me because I have to get the finance together and I will buy the car from you. But you cannot sell it. So we drove it that summer, car meetings, um, track days. That's what I like to yeah. hear. But um, the car was a beater. It was used as a, as a daily car. So in the fall and winter, he took it off the road and started to restore it. It turned out to be quite a big restoration. The car has a color change. The original car was Hennerot. This is a Nougat Grey. So it is a M Sport color for the E30 but very limited. He had it restored to 80%. There was bits and bobs missing. He tried to get it on the road. He didn't get the time. So it sat in his garage for 11 years. Then in December 2013, I said to myself, I have to stop smoking. So I did. I didn't buy any more cigarettes. And I said to my wife, I, I, I need something to, to keep me going, to not <laughs> okay. get back to, to smoking again. I, I, I will buy my, my friend's best friend's car. I don't think she really believed that this is going to be. <laughs> but I held on to that and uh, I have never smoked again. So in March 2014, he drove the car up to me. So I bought it and... Uh, Ever since then, I have tried to improve, tried to um, change things here and there. Coilovers is, I think, the biggest parts I have done because there are welding parts uh, in the front. Then it's brakes, wheel bearings. This off-season, there is going to be uh, a new uh, rear axle that's going to be adjustable just because the camera is way out, the toe is way out. So, do you do most of the work yourself? I do all the, the work, all the work, not the painting of the car. Yeah, but I do uh, rust repairs. I, I, I do all this by myself. There is some maintenance. There is uh, valve clearance should be checked. The alignment of the throttle bodies should be done. So, but is it difficult to find parts yeah, for? It it's is the, uh, very how, how do you manage to source them? Mm, internet, eBay, friends, contacts. Uh, there is a Facebook group for just owners of these type of cars. But to become a member, you have to have a win tag to show them, and you have to prove it by taking photographs of yourself and yeah. so on and so forth. Some parts is very very hard to find windshield for example is hard to find but yeah i think uh, bmw the dealership can source them still but the delivery time is month away so okay what's your favorite thing about it um is there a favorite thing about it? I, I think just the feeling to know that this is the car that were raced with in the 80s when i was watching them the feeling when when you take it and you drive it away and you take the first twisty roads and you think this is how they felt when they were driving the car I'm feeling the same thing I think that's my favorite thing about the car the legacy of the car I think that's it is yeah, yeah I, I think so because if we're going to be really honest 
the engine is just 200 horsepower. It's just 200 horsepower, yeah. but it is still a very, very good handling car. Does this look and drive like a proper M car? It smells like one. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. really, I'm not joking. It's, no. it, I think it's my third classic M car that I filmed. And they have, they that have a smell. smell. Yeah. That smell. Exactly. Yeah. I have had other people see the car and say the same thing. When they open the door, oh, yeah, it, it smells old. <laughs> yeah, it do. It does. could say that the car is talking to you exactly uh, from the seat I can't even feel what's going on with the car really. yeah. uh, and you forget <laughs> that uh, it sounds it smells it just goes and you can just turn the wheel and the car goes there yeah uh, yeah it's a very forgiving car to drive you um, you can take turns at speeds you didn't think was possible on the road. A question I wanted to ask you that I ask all owners of classic BMWs. Yeah. What do you think about the new ones? Which one would you get if you had them on? None. I don't like them. None of them? No. But that's more uh, general thinking I have. Per se, I don't like new cars. What's the newest car you, you like? I think the RS3 Audi, but if you're talking BMW, uh, E46.